Hi, this is your host Swapnil Bharatiya and in this special issue of TFR Insights for Open Mainframe Summit, today we have with us Alex Kim, IBM Z Linux One Solution Architect at Wycom Infinity. Alex, first of all, welcome to the show. Hi, how are you everyone? At the Open Mainframe Summit, you are giving a presentation about uh, AI, which is named Viva, uh, and it competes with uh, Alexa and Siri. Uh, and it's also what is interesting is that it's based on Zoe frameworks. So Alex, my question to you is, first of all, what is the story behind the name Viva and what is it all about? Yes, Viva stands for Vicom Infinity Voice Assistant, and it's uh, our own custom voice assistant like Alexa or Google targeted for enterprise customers that is very secure. Why did you choose Zoe for it? So Zoe, I, I joined the Zoe from the beginning of the Zoe effort and it's an open source project for the mainframe community. And for voice assistant, it's very critical to have open source APIs. And we are using a lot of open source API from Zoe. Before we talk more about Open Mainframe and Viva, I also want to understand uh, your involvement with the Open Mainframe community. How are you involved with the community? In the Linux side of the world, you know, we are using a lot of open source projects from uh, Linux Foundation, such as Hyperledger, and, and also working with uh, my clients to deploy a lot of open source projects. On the Z side, uh, with the Open Mainframe project, I'm involved with many other open, open mainframe projects such as Zoe and Polycephaly and open mainframe project mentorship programs. Now, let's go back and talk about Viva. Uh, you mentioned that you are using a lot of open source technologies. I want to understand what role is open source playing in the voice assistant space? Thank you. It's a very good question. And uh, it may take a long, but uh, there are a lot of voice assistants out there and in the U.S. itself, like a quarter of uh, grown-ups in the U.S. population has a voice assistant in place. And the problem with it is that there are so many different vendors and the, the skills that you have sometimes uh, has to work with a specific vendor product. For the enterprise space, it's very critical. And thanks to you know communities like Google uh, search engines and Wikipedia's, you can have uh, information out there, but enterprise specifics, we don't really have uh, much choices. Uh, so having open source APIs for enterprise utilities and tools is critical to get the information from the endpoints to interface with the voice. Can you also talk about what are the core components of Viva? Uh, one is of course Zoe. Sure, sure. So uh, Viva use um, IBM's Watson Assistant for its natural language processing and also using IBM's HyperProtect crypto services and virtual server to secure the communications and also the uh, handling of API so that you hear a lot of those uh, investor dropping of conversation from some other voice assistant that we want to prevent for enterprise users so that your conversation is always secure. Can you also talk about the, when Viva, you started working on Viva and what is the progress, where is it now? I started working on Viva about two years ago as a little internship pro pro project that we had. And uh, from there, we saw the opportunities and some of the interest from my clients that what if you can use this to help their day-to-day -day operations, their productivity, right? And voice user interface will uh, coming to the enterprise place soon. And we made it more secure using components I mentioned before, and also an another third-party vendor app to approve the biometrics. So we're getting there to the product level right now. So we want to help the clients using open source APIs like Zoom. Right, and, and what is the status of the uh, Viva project today? Is it is it ready for deployment or is it still in development phase? Close to the production level. So we are looking for uh, clients and uh, users that 
want to try out themselves. So we open for you know um, proof of concept or proof of testing of the technology, proof of te technology. So we are inviting many of our clients to join Viva on their enterprise. And if I'm not wrong, you have the device sitting behind you. Can you quickly you know, tell us a quick demo? Let's see if you can ask a question and can answer. Uh, sure, sure, of course, thank you. Um, yeah, this is the Viva. Uh, it's a pretty printed case at the MVP level, but uh, I'll, I'll, we'll call it Hey TJ. TJ from IBM's TJ Watson Jr. Um, hey TJ. Hey, what is the current CPU utilization? The current CPU utilization as CPU is two percent. Yeah, that's quite quite interesting there. Now let's talk about uh, the the Open Mainframe Summit because you are uh, presenting a session there. So are you going to talk about Viva? Are people going to see Viva there? Tell, tell us a bit about the session itself. Sure, it's a lightning talk. Uh, about 10 minutes or so, and I try to show how you can use Viva for your enterprise. And I try to use a Zoe API as well as a new project called Zebra, the OMP mentorship program I work with a student from Nigeria. And I'm trying to demonstrate that the, what open source really means to mainframe community. What would be the ideal use cases for Viva? Which kind of you know, industries you can use it for? So for example, if you are a manager for data center today and you like to understand how your mainframe is performing, uh, not just mainframe, but any systems performing, and in a day the stock market is really busy and crazy, you want to understand your system's health and you don't want to interrupt any other uh, data center operators. So you just simply ask Viva to answer the, your question you have for system health so that you can get the information with the natural languages right away. Um, I have a case where I can ask Viva to send me the status report for systems and then gets to the uh, smartphone directly. Awesome. So if you talk about you know your session, what would be the, the three key takeaways for the audience? So join the open mainframe project community and look for, there are so many good sessions in this open mainframe, um, open mainframe summit and you can, you don't have to be a programmer. You can participate in many other ways and I think this community brings a lot of value to the enterprise clients and space. Right, and uh, what about the people who will be attending your session? What will, you know, can you talk about three things that they will take away from your session? Sure, so you can see how you can actually get the free and open source monitoring tool and you can deploy yourself and you can see how voice user interface will help you productivity in the future. And you can see the security in the enterprise space is working to some of the application you may have in your enterprise. Awesome. Alex, thank you so much for talking to me today about uh, Viva. Uh, good luck with your session, and uh, I will. I look forward to uh, attend your session too. Thank you. Thank you very much.